Today, I want to talk about School of Rock, who reached out to me to let me know that they did something pretty cool. They made a limited edition Les Paul special. There's only 100 of these guitars. So if you're not familiar with School of Rock, it's a chain of lesson facilities that are 300 strong, and they teach music on a one-on-one -on -one platform and in a group platform by putting musicians together and creating bands. Now, that's really the secret sauce of their success. They really have done really well putting everything from children to teenagers to adults together, make music, and even do performances. It's a great way to learn music. I prefer that method over anything else. Do I think that you should go lessons and get scales theory? Absolutely. But I highly recommend that you get that experience. You learn how to interact with other musicians. Literally, it could change your life on so many levels. Now, what they want to do to add more value to their students is add a retail aspect. They're allowing their students to buy uh, accessories, guitars, you name it, all kinds of musical instruments through tons of brands, including Gibson and Fender, and kind of helping the students with their purchase. But also, they want to use the power of their 300 locations to do two things that are really cool. One, to make a limited edition series of guitars, which they did with Gibson, and also then donate 100% of the profits to the Save the Music Foundation. I'll put a link down below to the Save the Music Foundation if you want to help them as well. What they are is a foundation that helps put music in schools. And you can learn all about it by clicking that link down below. But like I said, 100% of the profits of these guitars will be going to that foundation. Now, that in itself is very noble and cool, but really you got to add in the other aspect, which is, what they did is they got Gibson to make a Les Paul special, and for the first time in almost forever, if not ever, they got them to do a couple changes to the guitar. First, they added gloss black finish. So normally you'd see this guitar with a satin finish. They went gloss black to give it kind of a sleeker, kind of more expensive look. They wanted to add a little bit of flash to something that's basically a workhorse guitar. I agree with them 100% that if I was a new to guitar, this would be a great guitar to have. The P90s have a lot of punch. The guitar is very light. It's comfortable. It can take some abuse and it's going to look really cool with some battle bruises on it after years of playing. It's got a bound neck, gold hardware, which is something also they've never done. Gibson's not done on the special series. And they went ahead and they did the one piece wraparound bridge, but the people at School of Rock got them to add the compensated bridge for intonation, something Gibson hasn't done except for in the custom shop. They've upgraded the capacitors to orange drops, and they also added the School of Rock logo to the truss rod cover, and they put the 50 style neck on it. And it's not chunky at all. It's a C carve, very nice. Uh, not as thick as like your Gibson R9s or 59 Les Pauls, but definitely thicker than the 60s uh, slim tapered. So somewhere in the middle. It comes with a hard shell case and a school of rock medallion letting you know it's one of only 100 pieces. Now, again, to get this guitar, you have to be a student of school of rock. I couldn't even buy this guitar. And trust me, I would if I could. So why am I telling you about a guitar you can't buy? Well, one, I'm hoping that some of you will check out the Save the Music Foundation and maybe donate to them and help spread music. A lot of you are gear geeks out there. You like buying new gear. Like I said, I love buying gear, but also it's always great to give back to a community and help the next generation of musicians. That's the first thing. The second thing is I know a lot of you have been cooped up at home for the last year and a half, and it would be nice to get out. If it's safe in your area to do so, and it's time for you to do so, I want you to consider these programs because although you have to pay for them, nothing will improve your life more than making music. But I also wanted to take some time and talk about the philosophy behind this guitar. I'm very impressed by it and that's why I also wanted to talk about it today. They could have just took some really inexpensive guitars, slapped the School of Rock logo on it for their advertising, make them 149 because as we know, all know that's a hot price point for guitar players. It's easy to afford and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. But what they did, I think, is even crazier. They made what's called a forever guitar. I agree with this philosophy, by the way. I don't think this guitar is forever because it's a Gibson brand. Sure, Gibson brand is strong, but what it is is a guitar that years and years of memories are gonna be created on this guitar. This is a guitar that if somebody starts their journey at 13 years old, at 17 years old, at 30 years old, or 60 years old, they're going to have memories that are gonna to attach to this guitar, and then they can hand this guitar off when it's time to a family member or loved one as an heirloom. It sounds fantastic. The pickups they picked, let me show you some of this stuff. Right now I'm playing through my Freeman Dirty Shirley, my Keeley Caverns, which is my go-to rig. <laughs> Punchy, that's on the bridge. 
I don't even want to mess with the volume controls. I just want to show you how I can change the sound of the uh, dynamics of the amp just with how I pick. I mean, if you hit hard, Neck position. And you can really feel the boominess. And I've talked about this before. A lot of people confuse P90s. They are single coils and they are gonna have that single coil kind of snap to them. But you have to understand, they are high output. The, I, the reason why they're this size is that we can get more wines of copper around there. And that those extra wines, they add up, man. This gives you that punchy, huge humbucker sound, but the top end sparkle and the, and the kind of punch and clarity of a single coil. It's really everything you love about a single coil on steroids. The only downfall, downfall of course, you get 60 cycle hum, but, uh, you know, I did an interview with Phil X and he talked about P90s and I said, do you use a noise suppressor on stage? And he said, nope, I just go real fast with the volume knob. So you're on stage with Bon Jovi. Do you play the P90s? Yeah. Do they, they, but they, 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 I mean, let's face it, those are big arenas. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. You could play P90s in an arena. It's got a middle one, I'm just curious. So basically it's gonna do the same thing. It's the, it's the neck, here's the neck. Just the neck, but a kid, a little bit of the bite from the bridge. What I love about P90s on a clean channel, <laughs> this is where now I have the amp cleaned up, is go to that middle position. Then on that neck position, man, it's just nice. The gold, all the gold pops. I think it looks really classy. That's kind of the thing that I think they were going after. Uh, looks like the nylon nut that you get from Gibson. It could be bone, but again, I don't have a, a detailed spec sheet. Like I said, this is the prototype. So I'm just getting an early uh, kind of look at it. Very cool. There's nothing on the headstock uh, denoting anything. It's like I said, it's all in this medallion right there, which is the School of Rock logo and then limited edition one of 100. They're probably gonna do this again. So it's something to think about. Like I said, uh, I thought I thought when they were uh, sending it out, I thought it'd be more available to everyone, but I understand what they're trying to do. They're trying to, to get some excitement for their lesson programs, let you know that not only do they have the ability to help you play music, but also there's some cool features. Look, uh, if, you, if I was a student of their, of their uh, program right now, I'd be definitely getting one of these. But also, like I said, they're also wanting to help the Music Foundation, especially today. To me, it's a win, 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 right? You, you're, you're helping people make music. You're doing something cool that people can can buy into that has a little, you know, kind of little pizzazz to it, and you're helping a charity. Uh, of course, I wanted to be uh, do this video. As soon as they asked, I was like, yes, of course. This is everything I love. These are all the things I love. Buying a cool guitar, helping a charity, learning music. It's literally my whole life is all about that. <laughs> those three things. That's all I want to do is those three things. It's almost like owning a piece of history. It's kind of cool, it's different, and in the idea that, that it's something unique, uh, it's something fun, and it kind of motivates you. Hopefully it motivates you guys uh, to make music as much as just buy musical gear. Again, we talk about this on the channel all the time. I want to talk about gear. I love it. But I want to talk about music just as much. So hopefully this will inspire you guys not only to maybe help a charity, but also get off your butt and play some music if you're not out there doing that already. Keep in mind, they do have online programs and online interaction programs. Like I said, check out everything they have down below. They were nice enough to send out the guitar, help us make this video. And also for them thinking of us, uh, thinking of me. They liked this channel. They asked me if I was interested in checking out the guitar and sharing with you, sharing the, the program and sharing the charity with you. And so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, I wanna thank all of you for your time. Till the next time. 
know your gear. Like I said, I love checking out a new guitar, but I also love helping anyone make music. And so I've decided to make a donation myself. I'm going to go ahead and do $200 today. I'd like to point out that I also earmark money throughout the year for donations. And I know a lot of you can't do that. So keep in mind, you can donate anything you want, a dollar, five dollars. Just keep it in mind. Like I said, at the very least, all I'm asking is just keep charities like this in mind, especially if you love music. Music. 